everyone, welcome back to Tall Garage. Today we're working on our 1980 Model A Kenworth and we're going to be converting over from manual to electric windows. So, when I bought this truck, none of the windows worked, everything's froze up, the guy had it duct taped shut. So I got a hold of uh, Dan Shop, Mr. Dirks, and uh, got hooked up with some regulators and some electric crank handles and we're just going to do it up nice. To do that, we're using Dirk's uh, 1550 regular black bracket. We got uh, crank handle, electric switch. Pretty nifty right here, I like that. And we just have a 379 um, electric window regulator. And we're gonna show you how to make all that work. Super easy, super convenient. So what do you guys prefer? Uh, air or electric windows? Leave a comment down below and let me know. All right, we're gonna get right to that and we'll cut you guys back on in a bit. All right, so we're gonna start with the driver's door first. I'm gonna go ahead and get it tore apart. If I've run into any problems, I'll let you guys know. But it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, so we got the door panel off. So now we're gonna get the window out and the window track out. So we can put the new seals in and we gotta put the new bottom hanger on the window here. And then I'm gonna drill all these holes out and put nut zerts in them so it makes it coming apart next time a little bit easier. So we'll be right back. First thing we're gonna get out is the window track right here. Um, there's only three screws, two down here and one up there. right over like this all right so since we got the, the window out we're gonna change the regulated bracket right here the easiest way I found to do that is just heat up with a torch a little bit don't go too crazy now Let's get so it starts to smoke a little bit. That's how you know it's good and hot, and that rubber in there will release. All right, so we can get this cleaned up down here, and then we won't put the other one back on until we get the regulator in the door lined up with where we want it so we know where it needs to be. So before we put the window back in, we're going to change the window seals. It's pretty easy. They just pull right out just like this. Nothing really to it. We're gonna get the new ones put in and get the window back in there.
not going all the way to the bottom? No. Why not? The window doesn't go all the way to the bottom. But it would seal against the window, right? Yeah, but the window doesn't, the window stops like right here. Yeah, that's fair. So this is already hanging past where the window stops. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, they, they, they do give you enough extra if you wanted to go all the way to the bottom on one side. Extra? Extra. Extra? Yep, extra. All right, now that the uh, new window seals in, we're gonna put the window back in and put the channel back in. Too long, so we gotta trim it back a little bit. Mm. All right, now that the window's back in. I'm going to drill these out, put nut zerts in there, uh, put some insulation in, and then we'll be back. All right, got our insulation in, made a quick harness up for a uh, speaker wire and the window regulator. So I'm trying to get it pretty much center, as center with the window as I can, so it has easier time pushing it up and down. Um, here's the window regulator bracket. If you use this, you have to do a little modification so it doesn't hit it. You just have to trim a little bit off of this side so the window doesn't hit it when it goes up or down. But we're 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 gonna throw this on real quick and get and get a few measurements. Perfect, first time, all right. Now, we got, we got this centered with this hole right here in the door panel. So, from where the door panel sits to the bottom of here is one and a half inches. So we're gonna take this over to the door panel and we're gonna get it put on. All right, so here's the door panel with the regulator bolts to. So what I did is I took my measurement that I got from over there an inch and a half and then went from here from the bottom of the panel and I went up, made a line, got this centered up on it and I just uh, marked all the holes so I'm going to drill those out and we're going to bolt this to it. videos on YouTube? Hmm? No, she cool like that. No, sure. Okay, anytime, anytime you want to see what dad's up to, you can look at his, his YouTube and see the videos he's making. What videos? On YouTube. On his videos. Where? On YouTube. Kai knows. If you ever, if you ever miss dad and you want to see what dad's doing, you can just look up, tell Kai you want to look at dad's YouTube. It's called Tall Garage. Say, say tall garage. Tall garage. Yep, you can watch dad and see what dad's doing. How do we watch you? You can watch it on the phone or the computer. All right, so I got this uh, Dirk's classic truck patent pending electric uh, door switch. So that's what we're going to be using. That's why we had to modify that bracket. So 
We're gonna attempt to get these holes lined up the first shot because we're awesome like that. And uh, just doing a little marking. Made corresponding marks all the way around where the bolt the center of the bolt hole was. So hopefully we can cross those. And the axis is gonna be right where we need to put the screw holes at. Yes. So if you want to use your factory window crank location, like I'm attempting to use, you gotta trim a little bit out of this bracket up here. So we're gonna get this up here. Uh, make some marks so we can get it cut out. All right, so I got my door panel up here where it's going to go. And uh, I'm going to make uh, some marks up here so I know where to cut this out at. Make sure when you mount this uh, window switch, you don't put it too high. So that way you can still go all along the factory lip where the panel sits. Alright, got this trimmed out. I'm gonna break away some of the plastic pieces that got melted in there. Clean my edges up with a file. Give her a test fit, see what happens. Fits like a glove. All right, we're gonna get the, the regulator back in and uh, we're gonna test it out. So I should probably be using a little bit different hardware, but I've had good luck with this on a couple other trucks. So that's what we're gonna use on this one. Which is what? Just some uh, self tappers? Stainless steel self tappers. The stainless steel is important. Get a couple more screws in here. And we'll uh, poke the regulator up and uh, make sure everything works. That'll probably be worth it. Test this out. Make sure everything works before we button everything up. Look at that. Perfect. All right, we're going to get this all buttoned back up and we'll get back to you. So here's the end result here. Door goes up and down, window goes up and down really good. No issues, no complaints there. Um, now, should I have used B model door parts instead of Peterbilt? Fuck that. Kenworth, I hate my dealership, they're the worst, and they're way too expensive. But Dirks, great quality products, great price, and great customer service. 
So make sure you like and subscribe and leave any comments down below about your A model and how you thought I should have did it. Thanks guys, have a good day. use it. They're cheaper, for one. They install super easily, and I just think that Dirks uh, offers a quality part for, for the price, and I want to use as much of them as possible, what with, you know, the super customer support I've received in the past. So, if you guys have a problem with that, make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me about your A model, if you have one. I lost the train of thought. I was, I was on a roll there, though. Why are you so excited? You're very over the top. I like being over the top because, like, I was looking at two of the video, the videos I did today. I did, I did intros and outros. Sounds like you're trying day. too hard, Ken. No, I did intros and outros from the other day, mm -hmm. and I wasn't like that. And I was like, man, these kind of suck. <clears throat> I was just like, uh, here's Ken, tall garage. How you doing? Uh, today we're gonna be working. I was like, what the fuck? Why did I do it like that? I'd much better like doing it like this. That's me. That's how I do it. I'm not telling you how you should do it. I'm just telling you how I do it. That's how I, because like I said, after watching them intro and outro did the other day, I was like, these suck. Like, I'm still using them, but I was like, these suck. Right, like I record. said, it is recording. It is recording. Like I said, that's me though. You got to find your own, your own. All right, everybody. Here's the end result. As you can see, the window goes up and down very smoothly, you know. So, uh, should I use B-Model Kenworth parts? Hell no, I shouldn't have. They're way too expensive. I like Dirks, because they're quality. At an affordable price, okay? With the customer service I got in the past, you can't beat their stuff. So, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below about your A model and what you thought I should have did. And you guys have a great day. Yeah, see, that's great. If I was doing it, but like, you didn't act like that in any of the other videos. That seems weird, you know? <laughs> oh, I can fucking hate you so much, Kenny. Am I wrong or am I right? Doesn't it seem weird you weren't like that in any other parts of this video? <laughs> so, like, Halfway, meet me halfway. Half of how you were the rest of the video, and like, be, and half of what you just did. Like, so nice. What about everything I said? Yeah, everything you said was perfect. Oh. I fucking hate you so much, though. I'm so stupid. I feel like a jackass right now. All right. Red leather, blue leather. Red leather, blue leather. <laughs>